I have here in front of me another cell shade. So this cell shade is a little bit different than the one in the last video. Um, you see this one has a larger head rail, uh, smaller moving rails here. It's actually a top down, bottom up that features a CCL. Uh, the CCL here is actually the focus of the video today. So I, uh, in a previous video, showed you how to replace the CCL on a smaller cell shade. So on this particular one, different model, slightly different process that I'll be happy to show you. So the first thing you'll need is access to the top of the shade, okay? Now, in comparison to the other one, this one has maybe one or two more steps to it, but it's still just as simple. Um, you'll want to use the CCL itself actually to rotate this little nut here into position. Sometimes it can be off to one side or the other. So you can use the cord to actually spin this around. This is gonna be the first screw that you wanna take off. So let me start with that. As usual, I just have a little screwdriver here that I'm gonna use. And let me get it in there. There we go. I don't wanna completely remove that, I just wanna loosen it. So now that should be fine. I can see that it's kind of floating freely in there. Um, the next thing I wanna do is probably take a screwdriver or something like one of these safety knives, something I can pry with and I wanna pry open these little plastic clips. These are gonna let me get to one more screw that's just on the inside here. So let me get just under that lip there. Oh, very careful, be more careful than I'm being. And I'll pry this one open too. And then these have clips on the underside of it as well. So be careful when you're lifting this off to not pull away too quickly because you don't wanna snap off those clips there. Okay, so now I can kind of move that down the line and I will have access to the inner part of the clutch. So in here we see there's the gears that the cord feeds through and then there's the last screw that I'm going to need to take off. So let me get my screwdriver here again. And this one, once again, you don't need to take it all the way out. I'm just gonna back it off. Oh. I guess I did take it out all the way. <laughs> okay, and then at this point, the clutch should just pull right out of there. Okay, so let me get my replacement clutch. Oh, how very convenient. My replacement clutch looks exactly like the original. So I'll take that, and the first thing I need to do is get it indexed with this rod here. Okay, so I can see that there's a little ridge inside of here and there's a flat part on this. So let me get those lined up. So actually, if you're having difficulty do with it too, a lot of these um, rods here can actually be pulled out just a little bit. So you can get them lined up with the clutch first. Lined up with the clutch first. There we go. And then we can tighten that set screw once we get the clutch back in place. So let me slide that back in there. So at this point, let me rotate this back around so that I have access to that screw again. There we go. So let me start by tightening that one down. And then I'll get the screw here on the end back in. Get that started. There we go, just get that snugged up. And then at this point, we can bring our end cap back up the line. Get it clipped back on. There we go. That's good to go. We replace the clutch. It should be working just as it did before.